Oh, 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 right again. Right, right, right. So here we go. So there is an extension, and it was, and it was actually brought to my attention by none other than the librarian, Miss Krishi. All right. So did some research, and it's really cool. And here has how to use it. It is called Tango. Okay. So basically, it's a way to make a tutorial video without making a video. It's a step by step guide to show you how to do something without having to watch a video. So basically what you do is you go and you search Tango, right? So you're just going to go T-A-N-G-O, Chrome extension. Bam. Now, you're going to click on this just like any other extension, and then you're going to add it, okay? Now, once you add it, okay, it's going to have you sign in with Google. You do all that jazz, and you go through all that initial setup. And then what's going to happen, it's going to be up here in your extensions bar, and then you hit the little puzzle, and then you make sure you hit the pin Right, and I'm, I'm speaking really fastly because this is what we do all the time. So, once you pin it, you have it right here, and now you're ready to make your tango. So, this is how you do it. You just get your all of your tabs, right? You can, you can do it from multiple websites, not just one website. But basically, you have everything open beforehand. And you click on the tango symbol, and then you click capture workflow. Workflow is basically another word for... Um, a uh, collection of screenshots slash tutorials, all right, steps. So you click on Capture Workflow, okay? Now, on the bottom left-hand side right here, you see, okay, you see a check mark, and you have one, a number one right there. That means that you've captured one screenshot already, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to obviously have a series of steps that you want to do. And every time that you click, it shows the series of steps in the bottom left. It'll go from one to two to three to four. So basically, if I wanted to show you how to look up a schedule of a sport team on the Newberg website, right? Obviously, I'm in my um, on the website. And now for the second step, it would be you click on departments. Right there. See how the number two changed in the bottom left? It changed to two, right? Departments, then you're going to go athletics, and then you're going to go down here to team schedules, okay? And this shows you all of the different um, games that are being played today, right? So I have a game today right here, bam, right? So notice on the bottom left, it says five, right? So now when I'm done, I click the check mark. And it's going to create what we call a workflow. Now, this is where the cool part happens. On the left-hand side, it gives you all the number of steps, okay? You can either delete them or keep them. Up top here, the title, I'm going to rename it to How to See Team Schedules, right? And down here, right, you can change the steps, right? So obviously, when you go to a website or click on something, it's going to automatically say click or go to. Right? You could keep it the same or you could edit this to be anything you want. Okay, And you could also add a description. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a link to the page. Because what the person sees on the other end when you send this to them is exactly what you see right here. Okay, I'm going to show you how to share it in a minute. All right, So it's going to tell you to go here. Second step, all right? it's going to tell you to click on departments. Notice how it took a screenshot of everything that I clicked on. When you just go to a web page, it doesn't show you a screenshot when you click on something, it shows you a screenshot, right? Click, 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 boom, all right? So you could always change the title, you could add a description, okay? So now when you're ready to share this with somebody, you hit share and export, you could just get a link, copy the link, and then paste it over here, okay? And this is what the other person will see on the other end, okay? Um, that's basically, oh, basically if you forget a step, right? Like um, you forgot to add a step or a picture or whatnot, you can go back to the extension, right? Why well, just right click it and click up here and it'll bring you back to your workflow and you just click on it and then see where the plus sign is, right? You could add a step, meaning you could title it, description, and put a picture. Or if you wanted to, you could actually add another capture, right? So basically right here, right? It'll go off of the tabs that you have. So say I wanted to add something from the Newberg website, I would just simply go here, right? Hit the plus sign, capture steps. Notice how I opened up a new tab and right here, 
I can click on here and I'd be like, all right, before you do anything, make sure you check out the latest news, all right, whatever. And then you hit check mark, right? And then what would happen is that step would be actually right here, okay? Right here, okay? It'd be added to your, um, the step that, the spot that you want it to be. And then you could add a description and whatnot, okay? Then you would hit share and export. And that's it for editing or changing.